This is Dracula, written by Bram Stoker, adaptation for webcam by Master Monkey, illustrations by Edward Gore. Act 1 opens in the library of Dr. Seward's sanatorium. Lucy, Dr. Seward's daughter and Jonathan Harker's fiance, is stricken by a disease that has resisted the doctor's efforts at diagnosis. As his dear daughter grows weaker with each day, he has asked Professor von Helsing, his mentor and old friend, to assist him in treating her. Young Jonathan Harker has also made the journey from London to be with his beloved. There is another visitor to the doctor's library this evening, a new neighbor, Count Dracula, who has recently taken up occupancy in the Carfax, a freezing ruin of a castle near the sanatorium. Come to inquire after Lucy Seward's health, the Count soon departs. Disturbing the room's uneasy, preoccupied quiet are the occasional appearances and outbursts of poor R. H. Renfeld, a man troubled in his mind who frequently escapes from his room and his attendant Butterworth. Renfeld raves on about the power of Life force can be extracted from flies and spiders, arousing both pity and a grave suspicion in Professor von Helsing. For you see, von Helsing was acquainted not only with the physical sciences, but also with the darker workings of creation's inner secrets. When von Helsing arrived at the sanitarium, he learned of the recent death of Lucy's friend, Mina Westwood. Dead Mina and ailing Lucy share a symptom that points to a mutual illness. Two small white circles mar the milky skin of their young necks. Each white scar bears a tiny crimson blood flower in its center. The learned professor tells his colleagues, first to their incredulity and then to their growing fear, that he believes Lucy is the victim of a vampire, a rapacious being, neither dead nor alive, the feast on the blood of the living process enslaving its prey both in life and in death. Jonathan Harker suggests that Lucy be removed to a place where she will be inaccessible to the vampire. But von Helsing explains that already in the foul thing's sway, Lucy would resist the going away, and that the shock of forcible removal could kill her and make her forever the vampire's creature. The first step in Lucy's cure, clearly, is to identify the vampire. Later that night, Von Helsing, Harker, and Dr. Seward set a trap. Lucy lies on the library couch as if asleep before the fire. The men conceal themselves in the room. Outside, beneath a gibbous moon, animals howl. Count Dracula stealthily enters the room via the window. He crouches over Lucy. She shrieks, hurls her veil in the Count's face scrambles to her feet and runs from the library. Dracula scuttles beyond the couch. Lucy's defenders burst from hiding and converge upon the fiend, but find nothing there. Just a black cat and a bat circling the room once, which flies out of the window. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for attending this special presentation. <laughs> oh, that was awful. <laughs> Cast, cast take five. <laughs>